What's going on YouTube? I just wanted to make a video to show you how you can make a basic countdown timer in Excel. So here we have a date, 5-12-2022. We want to calculate the number of days until the date, the number of work days, and the number of days and hours. So calculating the number of days is fairly straightforward. What you have to do is use equals this, equals the end date, minus today. Close parentheses, open parentheses, closing parentheses. Today function has no arguments inside. As you can see, it's 39 days. One thing to know is sometimes when you use this function, um, it is formatted a little bit weird. It might be formatted as a short date instead. All you have to do to change it to be a number is go to number grouping and then at the top, click general or number, or you can use the keyboard shortcut alt h n n. Also, the today function uses the date that is recognized on your computer. So for some reason, the number of days looks really looks off. Um, go and double check the, the date that is being used on your computer system to make sure that that is what you think it should be. Now, to calculate the number of work days, all we have to do is use the network day function. It goes net work, work days, where the start date is today, is that is the most current date, and the end date is the goal date. Now, you want to make a note, the last argument is holidays, um, where it's, it's, it's optional, as you can, which is you can tell by how it is in brackets. But one thing to note with the holidays argument is that if you're doing a long stretch of time, they're going through holidays that pass, and you need to use this argument to have a list of holidays um, to make sure that it will, it, it will exclude the holidays in the count and to calculate it properly. Um, because this is a relatively short amount of time, and um, there aren't really any big holidays that pass. I'm not going to include this in this function, but I just want to make a note of the holiday function, of the holiday argument. So, in close parentheses, as you can see, there's 29 work days. Now, here we want to do the number of days and hours. Um, so do this instead of using the today function, we can use the now function. So equals this minus now. You get, as you can see, it's 38 with seven days. Um, but I'm sure you want this formatted differently, right? So to format this differently, we can kind of separate the integer and the decimal um, and do some formatting from there. So what do you mean by this is first, we are going to want to find the integer of this, which we're the, using int function. Basically, all the int function is it runs on the number to the nearest integer. 38 and now we're going to want to have this formatted as um, something to say that this is just days, right? We need the ampersand sign, which sep where the ampersand sign just this separates formulas in, in text or different pieces of text. Um, but it's good with separating things and days. And we're going to have a space before the D and the space after the D. Now we just want to determine the number of hours. Let's use this, use the ampersand sign again to separate the day's text from the next formula. We're going to use the hour function, where for the hour we want the we want the remainder of the date minus now, so mod, where basically the mod just returns in the as you can see right here, it returns the remainder after a number is divided by a divisor. So we want the mod. We want the mod value to be this minus now. We just want the divisor to be one. I'm going to close parentheses. As you can see, 38 days, 16. And we're going to put another ampersand sign, hours. We're going to have a space before the age. 38 days, 16 hours. Um, and one thing that's really cool about this too is that um, these are a live countdown timer. So if you wanted to have like a countdown timer for a deadline or a big day um, in Excel, this is kind of something that you can use to have a basic countdown timer with a live time. So I hope you found this to be useful. Like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.